Hey people, what's up? It's JB Illusion, and it is time again for us to check out another game. Let's check out Bloodlust Shadowhunter. Now, fun fact, I do believe the man's name is William R. Fisher, WRF Productions. He is the one, like, developer behind this game, which is actually pretty amazing. I like that, considering that it has a lot of features that I would hope. So we go down to options. Boom, 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 all the good stuff. Difficulty, mouse, camera, yada, yada. But what really impressed me was the fact that, you know, Xbox controller support, considering the fact that there are some games that are made, you know, by very, very large companies who port something over to PC, but there is no Xbox controller support. You know who you are. You know who you are. And, like, stuff like that I think is really awesome. We got sword trails. I set everything up high. Hopefully it'll look great. We'll see. Let's start this new game, and let's check this out. What? I, I don't want to come closer. Okay, that's setting a really spooky... That's, that's a really spooky atmosphere. So this is an RPG. There's dungeon crawling involved. And um, there are multiple classes. So vampires are strong with slightly higher strength, but require blood often. Okay. They must stay out of light and away from fire and silver. Okay. Max resistance limited to 75%. Okay, so we're playing vampires. Is there another type of breed that we could go for? Dampier. Ooh. Nice eyes. Dampier are half human and not as strong as full vampires. They do not need to drink as much blood and have some resistance to light and fire. So, um, on Twitch I've been playing Vampire the Masquerade. I love playing it and when I heard about this game, actually, someone who watched Vampire the Masquerade a long time ago recommended this game. I was just like, eh, whatever, but then, you know, I wanted to check it out. Question mark. Mystery breed. No, we're not doing mystery breed. Uh, we're gonna go vampire. We'll go vampire. Um, now are we going to go male, female? What's the... Okay. It actually looks pretty cool. Digging the hair. Um, what classes do we got? Warrior. Witch. Okay. And what's the next class? Criminal. Um, female criminal. Criminals use dexterity for thieving and violent acts. Good with daggers and knives. They can use stealth to backstab their victims in the shadows. Okay, so we have the standard warrior, mage, rogue group. Um, oh, witches. The witch is skilled at the art of magic and power. They use charisma to fuel their talents and disciplines. They are skillful in a way of subjection and persuasion. See ghostly items behind the walls with sight. Hmm. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go criminal. Just because I want to shoot stuff, I'm playing Gangrel in uh, Vampire the Masquerade, and we do not shoot nearly enough things. We'll go male. Oh, mm, mm, okay, okay. We're fine. What are we going to name him? Jace. We'll name him Jace. So, oh! Okay, we can change faces. Okay, what can we do here? We could give him a beard. Face one, face two. Uh, the goth look is interesting. With a scar? Okay, the scar is not bad. Okay, I might, I might cut. Oh my god, look at that tattoo! I might, <laughs> Mike Tyson. I might cut away for a second as we get our boy put together. Okay, so, so there was a tan option, and you know, just had to go for that, or, or a darker skinned option. I, I like that. Okay, so we can go crazy on dexterity. I kind of want to be like like the dashing rogue. Let's up persuasion just a bit. And we're going to up charisma as well. Our dexterity at 24 hopefully should be good. We add some vitality to our character. And let's start. Um, bite sleeping bums on the ground to sire them and let them help you. So that was one of the things... Stop, stop telling me what to do. Who are you? Okay. 
America. Come on. You're obviously here to do something. I'm assuming it's die. But we'll see. That voice, on the other hand, is mysterious. And mischievous. Oh! Well. Suck to be him. Hmm. So there's a flashlight and a knife somebody left. Wake up, Fledgling. The early evening's dusk fades from view as a new moon rises. Your memory is probably very weak since it's been many years of deep slumber from the embrace. But with each new bloodline, you will grow stronger. Meet me at the tattoo shop back in town. I will explain everything there. I've asked Varric to watch over you through these long years. Oh, the crow! Seek him out, should you need any guidance from the ruins. Oh, not the crow. So, my first question is, what the heck was that, um, voice? Um, bloodlust can be tricky for new players, as certain skills and objects need to be used in order to complete quests, find secret doors, and avoid traps and puzzles. Um, tutorial mode is strongly recommended for new players, otherwise you are most likely to get killed from traps or frustrated from walking past hidden secrets. Um, a more casual experience, go to the options and select easy. You can change the options anytime I like that. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we have a flashlight, we got our crossbow. Boop. That is not a normal crossbow. Do we have ammo for the crossbow? Uh, that's also what I'm currently wondering right now. Okay, I'm sure we're alright though. We're dashing rogue. Um, zoom in with the mouse. Mouse steers, um, all the time, but you must use hotkeys to open menus. Okay. Thank you for telling me what the hotkeys are, by the way. Because a lot of games don't do that, and that actually pisses me off a lot. Um, mouse cursor right to click on icons. Mouse cursor right? Wait, hold on. Mouse cursor avail available to click on icons when right mouse button is not pressed. Okay. So when this isn't pressed, steer and look with right mouse button held down. Okay. Press the Z key to toggle in between modes. To see which words... Oh, I'll just use the Z key. Okay. Oh, there we go! Z is actually a lot better for me. Okay, so I can go over, click on skills and whatnot. Bite, uh, drink to heal and sire, bow skill, yada yada. Okay. Vampire, ga vampire gaze. It's a remote flying eye. Flying control. Okay. Okay. So where's... Oh! Are you a scarecrow? You're a scarecrow, aren't you? Hi. Young Fledgley, how was your sleep? Um, pretty nice. How, how'd you say that without any... Oh, okay, so he belongs to a specific clan. So yeah, that, that's another idea from this game. Belongs to a specific... Land of Vampires, which is actually kind of cool. Um... Did you say something? No. You couldn't have. Your lips are sewn shut. My name is Vera. I am the caretaker here in the ruins. Um... How are you talking to me? You're not opening your mouth? I can see you are a little confused, no? Yes. Right. Normal in these circumstances. Side effects from the bite, perhaps. Bite? You are no longer mortal, I'm afraid. Your blood has been tainted with the bite from a night feeder. Wait, you're saying I'm a vampire now? Not exactly yet. Only a fledgling, but on your way. You will need to feed and grow your bloodline if you are to survive here in the ruins. Okay. Um, what's this place? How'd I get here? You have been exiled here in the ruins. Part graveyard and part ancient past. 
Someone obviously either doesn't like you or they're trying to teach you something. That's very interesting. So I was either exiled here because someone doesn't like me. I did something. Huh. Or they're trying to teach me something. Like how to fight on my own? Okay, I'm here. Now what? You will need to learn to quit here. The creatures found here are not as friendly as me. You will need to gain experience and learn your new skills quickly. Skills? First skill will be to bite. You will need to drain victims to survive. Okay, when close to victims, use the bite skill. Um, I'm not sure I want to kill anybody. Bye. Suit yourself. Make sure you don't drain them dry and they will be fine. But I warn you, you will be tempted to go back for seconds. <laughs> uh, okay. Where do I go now? Find the statue of the ancients. The spirit will guide your path to the exit of this dark place. Also see Sarah. She is the only traitor here. Yeah. Okay, um, so we can persuade him here for um, any chance you could put in a good word about me to your clan. So, I think that's probably a good option since having friends in vampire society usually is a good idea? Usually? I see you learn quick, fledgling, using your power of persuasion. Bring me the sword stone located deep within the dungeon, and I will grant you some reputation with my clan. I mark the location on your map. Alright, I'm on it. Okay, um, well thank you for... I'm guessing you're marking it on my map for me. You can kind of stay away, creepy dude. Alright, we'll hit Z and let's see if we can find... Here's our journal. Find a sword and a stone. Varric asked you to find him a sword stone located in the dungeons. Giving Varric a sword stone would probably gain you some reputation in his clan. Okay. Oh, and I can show on the map right from here. So this is where we are. Um, sword stone would be a little bit further down and to the right. Okay. There's an arena, but we're staying clear of the arena. Okay, so we're heading this way. Into the... Oh, hi, Varric. Oh, hi, dog. Doggy? That is obviously kind of evil. Um... We got something in our inventory. What do we get? We got money, a wooden stake, and a dungeon key. What's over here? This is our skills. Grayed out skills can be selected too. Try new skills such as lockpick. Um, add points to the lockpick skill? Oh, cool, we got the lockpick skill. Okay. Wolf, stay away from me, please. We're going stronger. Your bloodline has increased to level 2, which means that we can learn some skills. Let's check our character. Oh, and we can upgrade. So, I'm going to hold off on the points for right now. We seem to be doing alright. Like, our attack isn't too bad. Skills, um... I'll hold off on that too, because maybe we need to upgrade something in the future. Alright, so let's go back into fight mode, just in case any more wolves attack us? Oh, we have a close combat attack. What are you? Oh, that's just a rat. Standing on its hunt. Okay, that's normal. And you are a vampire, I'd hope? Hey, look. Sleeping Beauty is finally I awake. have left a note back at your tomb yeah. explaining a few things. You may want to read it before moving further in your journey. Um, okay. Thank you, mysterious voice that probably belongs to the Raven. Um, do you know me? No, not really. But I did see you sleeping earlier when I took a peek inside your coffin. I'm sorry, but I was searching for blood fragments, and that's okay. usually what you find inside dead vampire coffins. Didn't find any, but I did notice a few items next to your coffin. I didn't touch him, though, but I was curious who left that weapon and flashlight for you. That was very nice of you, and yes, yeah, somebody did leave this stuff for me. Um, why are you looking for blood fragments? Oh, man. You must have been asleep a long time. Blood fragments are very, very valuable. Just be glad you didn't have one for me to steal, huh? <laughs> me and a few other guys have been uh, hired as excavators to find all the fragments in these ruins. So that's the dude who, get, who blew himself up earlier. 
Um, if you're supposed to be excavating, why are you just standing here? Oh, I'm just waiting for those wolves to go away. One of them tore up my leg pretty bad. Man, once they lock on, they just don't let up. I even lost the full bag of blood jewels while trying to escape those creatures. Which reminds me, if you happen to find a bag of jewels, how about bringing it back here, huh? If I see a bag, I'll let you hey, know. thanks. Also, if you need any lockpicks or keys, you might want to find Sarah. She set up a temporary trade shop to provide supplies for the excavators in the area. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay, let's let's go back to our little crypt for a second. Because apparently the weird disembodied voice slash head left us. She left us a present. There's a dead dude. Oh no. You can bite him? Okay, so that would be ability one? And we build our army. Walter added to Sire Tree. Press the L key to open your Sire window. So, okay, okay. So the person who bit us has a Sire themselves. We don't know who bit us. But we have a, a minion named Walter. The tree shows you who you've sired, bitten and turned into a vampire. Sired vampires are now part of your family and can gain XP for you. Ooh. You may want to choose wisely who you bite, since more victims make better member since some victims make better members than others. Okay, well we did mm -mm, just kind of, you know, bite some random bomb. That's probably probably not the best idea. Empty alcohol bottles. I'll take them. Probably useful somewhere, somehow, somewhere. All right, let's go back to our tomb and see what's up. Okay, what's on here? Notes, um... Dear Jace, I hope you had a good sleep. Take the weapon and flashlight I left you, being a only a fledgling. Your night sight skill may be weak. Use the light until your eyes are strong enough to see completely in the dark. You are probably confused why I had to hide you here. But no time to explain now. Go quickly and make your way out of the ruins to, into the city. I'll be waiting for you at the Ink Spot Tattoo Shop. Sincerely a friend. Yes, I've also left a secret behind the East Wall. I couldn't take any chances leaving it out in the open with all of the excavators snooping around. But I'm sure you will know how to find it. It can take several hours before fledgling eyes can see completely in the dark. Okay. So yeah, because... We're a vampire, we got issues. Um what we got over here? Journal Um Lost Bag of Jewels Talk of an Ancient Stone Statue Find the statue of Zorgo. His spirit will tell you how to escape the dark ruins, okay? We can still work on our skills. I don't really know about doing anything with our character stuff for right now. Alright, cool. Well they're still flashing to remind me, you know, that they're doing stuff. Let's just hope we don't run into any more wolves. That looks like there's a secret behind it. Just saying. Have you found my bag yet? Nah, sorry. Oh, we probably need to head the other way. Actually, no, hold on. Let's open the map up again. Oh yeah, we are super far away. I am so sorry. This way. Yeah, I just don't know which way I'm going. We need to go down this way, and I believe we need to take a right. Let's go ahead and take the right. Okay, yeah, we're not on our path? That's Michael's bag. That's the sword and the stone. Let's do sword and the stone. So... Anything in here? Oh! Spider? No. No spider. 
But we got a wooden stake off of a spider. Okay. I'm not gonna challenge that. Um, you found a secret area. Notice that all secret areas contain a lever to close the door behind you. You might want to keep enemies out or possibly trap them inside. Okay, that's a good idea. All right. Because this is very dungeon. Oh! No, you can't sneak up on me. Not at all. Can't sneak up on me. This is very dungeon based, which I think is really cool. And I've heard headshot. It's procedurally generated. That's cool. Oh! No headshot. There we go. See, this is why I, I wanted to shoot things for a change. Oh, I feel so good. I feel like I'm good at games now. Okay, you're on fire, aren't you? But, you still get taken down like a punk. We have a scroll that needs to be identified, alright. There, there is magic in the game, so cool. Now, what's up with this? Hmm... Weird. Okay, there has to be some reason or something that we could do to get through there. I'm gonna shoot him. Nice. Um, we're going stronger and we can... Um, open talent, suspend it. Um, keep your eye out for talent glyphs. You can unlock any talent with a talent glyph. Okay. What was that? Actually, let's check out the talents then. Character, skills, inventory, map. The talents are over here. We're not. I think there's a separate thing for talents then. <clears> or <throat> stats. Hmm. Okay, let's let's do this mission. Because we really need to do that. Okay, so it's this way, for the sword and the stone. Or the stone, whatever type of... Whatever it is. So far we're doing good, though. We're doing decent. We're not... We're, we're, we're fine. And I am actually thinking about making this a series. Because right now I'm actually kind of interested. This area can be difficult to find a way out if you go beyond floor one. Stop saying come closer. Okay, there's a trap here. Disarm it. Good. We got a dungeon key, some elixir, and we got lockpicks. I'll take all of that. So now, where are we trying to go? Is it? Got the dungeon key. Go. Real real quick. Real close like. This is it, right? There's no map to this area, but I'm pretty sure oh, because it's a dungeon. So I have heard that the dungeons are procedurally What are you? Okay. That That thing actually did kinda look scary. I'm gonna be honest on that. You are a big boy, aren't you? I need headshots. Blood wine. Oh, I got a hat? Yo, put that on. I need to be level four to wear a hat. Looks like it looks like a nice hat, right? Beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> you just popped out. Mm. 
We got Simon Says. Yo, if I was a vampire, this is how I would protect my treasure. Almost forgot there for a second. Okay. This might get too complicated for me in a second. Oh god, we're gonna lose. Okay. Please be it. Okay, we disarmed the trap. Okay, cool. I don't know what trap that disarmed, but I'm happy it's disarmed. Because whatever it is probably would have blew us up. Like, I'm talking killed us. Can we... Can we duck down? Oh! We can roll! We can roll through! I like that! Anvil, repair equipped, main broken weapon. Okay, well, bro where main weapon isn't broken, it's still good. Hi, spider! Okay, that that thing is too tough to be a spider. We got another scroll. We can roll through here. Oh, there's blood everywhere. Or... Okay, we need a key to open the gate. Okay, I enjoy it. We have a speed boost after rolling. Oh, hi! Oh, I got you from the back. Isn't there such a thing as... Uh, okay, I'm not even gonna... Try to do anything sneaky. We're just gonna shoot him in the back of the head. Keep going. We're rolling through. Oh, dude, okay. I'm slightly lost now. Ah, oh, dude. It is too misty out here. It is too misty. I, I really don't want to see one of those big things again, though. That thing took way too many shots. Oh, you heard that? I heard that. I don't want to go towards the red, because wherever the red is, something's here. Okay, that's not bad. We can take him. We got this. There, There's a very generous headshot. Like, I like- oh. Oh, I can wear my hat now! There we go. Yo, this better be a nice hat. Ooh! Looking like a black Indiana Jones. No, not really. Not even close to Indy. But you know what? I'll wear the hat. I'll wear it. Looks kind of nice. Um, we'll take this from it. We'll grab the scroll. Found Swordstone. Return to Varric. Okay, so now I have to retrace my steps? Uh shoot, okay. Alright, we're, we're rolling through. So there's a certain stamina allowment that you can see at the bottom left. And that did take a certain amount of stamina. Is that something? Okay, cool, it's not something. So we roll through here. Because I really don't want to, I don't want to fight anything else. We got, we got our stupid stone. Or Varric stupid stone. I think we go through here one time. Then we can just ha head back. So this is definitely something where if you were a fan of like the old school things. Of the old school dungeons. Where you would actually like write out a path. Like this room is this, this is this. 
then I think you might be you might be keen on this. I am so far um, going deeper um, than floor one using pits can sometimes be difficult to find a way out. You must find stairs to return to the surface. Sometimes you have to go even deeper to find stairs that lead out of the dungeon. Nope! Not doing that. Good to know what that is, though. Not doing it. We already found Varric Stone. His clan, I forget what his clan is. I'm, I'm assuming they're a clan of vampiric scarecrows and mummies. No, they're probably exactly like Alice in Wonderland. Not Alice in Wonderland. Um, Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. That's, that's probably what it's like. Was that the exit? No, this is the exit. Okay, cool. <laughs> There's a uh, vampire Tin Man, vampire Dorothy, vampire Toto, they call it. <laughs> he looks more like a werewolf. Hey, we got this hat, though. You know what? We can rock this hat. Okay, that's a rat. I was about to shoot him. So... I will say, like, since they explained the whole fledgling. <laughs> okay, since they explained the whole fledgling vampire thing, you know, that you might not be able to see in the dark, I, I can get behind that. Wait. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna be real, that scared me. Yo, dog, you serve us. Can you... Oh, um, press insert to call out... Oh, he's a minion! Yo, okay, we got somebody. Like, a lot of vampire games really need that. Like, servants. Um, press home to send him away to find loot. Okay. I haven't used my home key in such a long time, I don't know where it is. Actually, I'm just gonna... I legit don't even know where my home key is. So we're just gonna have him roll with us? That's just how that's gonna work? Varric? I can see you are a little confused now. Um, here's your sword. You, the sword stone you asked for. Good job, stranger. But you can keep it. Huh? It will help you enhance your weapon. Oh, dude, thanks. Aw, Varric, Varric's so kind. He's helping us out. And we got Walter, the hobo. He's following us. I like that. We can have a vet. Walter, attack! Attack him, Walter! Walter, you can do this. You got this. You got this, dog. Walter. Walter, you got this. You got this, man. Yo, yo. Walter. I'm disappointed in you. I am thoroughly disappointed into you. When we get back to my lair, we're going to have a serious talk about you protecting me. We're going to have a talk about this. <laughs> a serious talk. Actually... This is gonna be a little bit longer, but let's check it out because I kind of want to get these jewels. We need to head where to get the jewels. I'm of course super far away. We gotta go this way, I do believe. Okay, that's some vampire jumping. <sighs> Hello. Dude, it's called protecting your master. Wait, can I bite him to feed off of him? No, I can't bite undead, so I did make Walter undead. So I probably made him very upset. Um, is there any way that I can equip Walter? I wonder. Scimitar, we do not meet the strength requirement. That's not happening. I can't believe I have no idea where my home key is. I feel like an idiot. Okay, whatever. Or I could always rebind that later on. So which way are we headed? We're headed... 
this way. Of course. Oh! Walter! Okay, I'm level 5. I'm a fledgling no longer. I feel good about that. Oh. Okay. Ah. Oh. The door is tricky and won't stay open. But there is a way. Shoot vampire's gaze into the doorway and then step off the plate right before you trigger the lever. Okay, so how do I use vampire's gaze? Is that three? Okay, so we're on here. I wish I could have used, like, Walter to just... Oh, okay. Vampire's gaze. Oh, I can adjust the speed. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. And where's the lever? There you are! Okay. Okay, I think... There we go. Let's just roll through. Oh! Boom! And of course, Walter isn't here. God, Walter. Jeez, man. Disarm that. And I'm now poisoned. Some of vampire. A uh, statue of knives. Right click to read. Um, place a knife into the chest, and the statue will slide, revealing the rest. A dagger won't do, so you don't even try. The statue can tell when people are sly. Okay, that's pretty dope. I, I, I'm impressed. So, did we get his bag? The icon's on the left. Oh! Stop attacking me, you jerk. See, Walter is... Walter is failing us right now. We have four health points right now. As well. That's not good. Do we have any, like, potions? We have an elixir, drink to heal. Okay, we're good now. We're, we're fine. I feel kind of bad about that. Did we get the, um... We did not find Malachi's stuff yet. Yeah, every once in a while, when I do click out of something or something big happens, um, there's a little pause. I'm thinking I need to do something with our settings, maybe. To work on that. But where the heck is Malachi's bag, then? Well, this is the Statue of Knives, so I'm far away from Malachi's bag. I took a wrong turn, actually. Oh! Our sire, our, um, fledgling died. I am ta- Oh! Walter, you're back up! You're back! <laughs> Go make me... I don't know, vampire coffee. Go do something useful. Right click to open the vase. Goth! Best! Magical armor. Oh, we're equipping that. I need 19 charisma? Well, you know what? Apparently, we need 19 charisma. To open this vest up so I'm ruining my stats but hey it's all good let's put this vest on this better be a good vest after what we just went through this better be a fantastic okay oh oh my goodness what are those things we wearing the vest? Okay, yeah, we're wearing the vest. Can we roll through? No, we can't roll down. High jump. H. Um, is this the way we need to go? Not exactly, but we'll do the high jump. Oh! Dude, I feel like I'm just, like, learning a bunch of stuff. And, of course, chest explodes. Bag fill, bag of jewels... We can get a top hat! Oh, I'm such a nerd. Okay, guys. So, we did manage to fill, finish one quest. I feel dumb. There are many other quests for us to do to actually get out of here. When I say leave me... Oh, no, we did find Malachi's jewel bag. So let's head back and give this to him. High jump! Oh, no, no high jumps. Walter. God, Walter. I, I probably shouldn't have passed you. I probably shouldn't have 
bitten and turned, you, you know, a drunk hobo who stumbled into a weird vampire ruins area. Probably shouldn't have did that, but you know what? You could try too. You could try a little bit better, Walter. Jeez. Have you found my bag yet? Yeah, Yo, this your bag? Thanks. Since you helped me out, I guess I could teach you secret sight. It's a okay. skill to help me find a few fragments, and it might help you find whatever you're looking for too. You want me to teach it to you? Sure. And there you go. Give that a try. In fact, I think there's a secret wall over there behind me. All right. Goodbye. I got this. I I can do this. Oh. Cool. So we got in here. Oh, we we need to use what you call it. All right. Okay, speed up, speed up, speed up. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We got this, we can do this. Just need to do it right. And boom! We open the door. Okay, cool. Beware! Some pressure plates activate traps that can do extensive damage. Okay, this is, this episode is getting way too long for Let's Check Out. I, I will say, th this is so far the game. I think that this is a phenomenal job for like one guy, one developer to do. It's pretty dope. I feel like now I need to go, I, I don't know, like... I feel like I'm not handling my right, my life properly. Like, I need to go run it, do a marathon, maybe write a book, make my own game. <laughs> Anyhow, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below if you actually made it through this video. Hit me up in the comments down below and tell me, you know, what you guys are feeling about this game. Would you like to see an actual, I, I don't know, series of this? Maybe. Anyhow, thank you all for watching. Peace out. Have a great day, and remember, please, be excellent to each other. Walter, this is all your fault.